Good morning, beloved children of God. Welcome to worship with us here at First Congregational Church of Charlevoix, Michigan, on this third Sunday of Pentecost, June 14th, 2020. It's also an opportunity for us to lift up and commemorate in worship an important holiday in the American calendar, uh, though one that's not often celebrated in primarily white communities. It is the celebration of Juneteenth, the uh, commemoration of when the last group of slaves found out after the Civil War that they were indeed free. This is a chance for us as a church to gather together instead of just cowering in fear and wonder as the recent killings of George Floyd and Ahmed Arbery have cast this country into another painful self-awareness of how much work is left to do for racial reconciliation and justice, and instead recognize that it's not just the burdens that we have that we need to come to terms with, but also the fact that though we have experienced much uh, joy and peace and happiness and uh, soul-stirring from parts of the African-American tradition, we have been woefully ignorant of the history and expertise and the Afrocentric perspective, both as American citizens and as Christians. And so this week's worship is intentionally setting down some of our usual uh, traditions and worship practices to give space for uh, our brethren and sister in, in Christ uh, to express how they experience God, where they find both the joys and the burdens of discipleship, and that this may also stir our soul so that we may begin to walk with them in this work. And so we will be having a special discussion after worship during our Zoom time today on June 14th uh, to talk about uh, this worship experience and the sermon and our prayer time and offering time to see how we feel called uh, in this time and in this place to do some of our own work. And so I look forward to seeing you for that. Uh, I also want to let you know that the UCC itself is going to be having a Juneteenth celebration on June 19th. Uh, you can read more about it and register for the, uh, the Zoominar uh, if you'd like to uh, right underneath this video. Um, and now we have a special announcement from our moderator, Bill Trebilowitz. Well, good morning, everyone. It's uh, June 14th, Flag Day today, so be sure to put your flags out um, on display today. Um, I'm Bill Trebilowitz. I'm the uh, moderator here at the uh, First Congregational Church. This is your second notification of a congregational meeting that's going to happen on June 21st, Father's Day, as a matter of fact, next next uh, Sunday, um, we will have a uh, an event that I hope you are aware of to uh, uh, affirm the appointment of our new settled pastor. Um, so anyway, as I said, this is your second notification as required by the bylaws for the meeting next week. Uh, just to give you a, a little bit of a feel of what's going to happen next weekend. Early Sunday morning, uh, the uh, service for next Sunday will be posted. It will be conducted by our candidate. Also, we will distribute hard copies to members that are not available to uh, connect via the uh, computer or, or the Zoom calls. Uh, so that will happen, oh, I'd say between 8 and 9 o'clock in the morning. We will have our normal... Uh, special service with the new minister and then uh, at 11 o'clock we're planning on having a meet and greet zoom call with our candidate to allow uh, the members to uh, lay eyes on them uh, hear a few of the words that they have to say um, and then at noon our plan is to excuse the candidate from the room and officially conduct the uh, congregational meeting uh, at which time you will be able to vote via the emails or by telephone and and then we hope to compile the results shortly thereafter um, I hope you have received the uh, 
the uh, poll that I sent this week asking you to verify your information. I've gotten about 80 responses so far. I'd like to have more responses from members so I know exactly what your situation is for the uh, for next Sunday. And if you need help to get get online, I can uh, I can make arrangements for that to happen. Anyway, if you have any questions, continue to uh, send me comments. Uh, respond to the uh, respond to the poll. You can write your comments in there, or call the office, or call me. And anyway, I think that's it. You guys have a great day, and we look forward to uh, next Sunday's big event. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you, Bill. I sure I lift up everyone's uh, anticipation and hope and celebration that next weekend will be our Candidating Sunday weekend. And so let us now center ourselves into today's worship by taking a deep breath and breathing in and out the Spirit of God. And so let us enter into worship. <laughs> 